Hello friends, in this particular video I am going to talk about how we can utilize a Linux environment for installing the OT automation and control systems. So in this one I am utilizing the Debian 12 as a Linux operating system and in this I will be guiding you how we can install the Ignition SCADA and the virtual PLC of the codices which will be running on this particular operating system and all of this will be hosted on a Vago Edge computer. So let's first start with the installation of Ignition SCADA. So first we need to uh, download the installer and then uh, what we can do is we can first we need to write a command uh, called a ch mode plus x okay so ch mode is basically for the change the access mode and x is for the execute the permission okay and plus is for the addition of the permission and then we can drag and drop uh, the installer uh, into the terminal and so it will do the, all the changes and then again we should be able to drag and drop so after we drag and drop the next time on the terminal it will do the uh, uh, extraction of those and then it will open the model window where it will we can be able to go through the guided workflow for the installation of the ignition scatter part okay so in this particular uh, normally we I, i'm selecting a typical and then i will click on the install and then it will take some time to get it installed and after that uh, it will give a message that gateway is ready and then we can go and open it into the local host mode on the port which is defined okay then, now uh, we need to also download a designer launcher okay so designer launcher is basically utilized uh, to design and configure all the uh, SCADA part so not the configuration basically for the designing of the whole uh, screens okay so we do everything there so once uh, it get downloaded uh, we need to of course extract that because it will be in the zip folder and then uh, we need to go into again into the terminal window and then we need to uh, go to the we need to have access for the root okay so once we have the access for the root because we need to copy uh, these files uh, the into another folder because in the Debian 12 it is not directly supported so as earlier we used to uh, get uh, into the earlier version of this ignition that uh, by default we can launch the desktop version but in this one we need to actually copy those files into a shared uh, lo application location which is under the user share and the application so uh, we need to copy uh, the app folder uh, then we need to also copy the runtime folder and uh, we need to also copy uh, the designer launcher dot desktop file so all these three uh, files should get copied uh, into the user share application folder then only we can be able to launch the designer launcher okay so uh, i have i will be also give, giving all these commands uh, how we can do uh, into my into the description so once these three uh, two folder and file get copied then uh, using the command called gtk launch and then we need to give the name of the desktop application which is designer launcher dot desktop file name okay so once we click uh, and give those details and uh, click on run then it will open the ignition designer launcher so if if we are not doing in this way then we will get if we are doing in the old way like old way then we will get uh, error here because of the java versions uh, error will come so that error will get also eradicated uh, by using this so now if you see we are i'm able to open the designer so i need to log in using the credentials which we have created so we need to provide the username and the password to log in into the ignition designer and then uh, we can go uh, for the creation of the project so let me get it logged in into it now uh, we can uh, click on the new project okay so here when we click on the new project then a new window will open and then we will be able to create the new project in the ignition scada okay so let me click on the new project and then we need to fill all the different uh, fields so like project name if you want to have a project title if we have to give the some descriptions and which project template we need to utilize so here what i'm going to do is i'm going to connect uh, this ignition scada so i will create a, a few uh, screens and 
then I will be connecting to the virtual PLC, the Cortex's virtual PLC, which is also hosted on the Waco Edge computer. Okay, so I am trying to uh, build everything in the Linux framework so that uh, we can be able to visualize how exactly we can be able to do it. So once we uh, fill all those uh, fields and click on the create project, then it will take some time to load and start the module. Okay. So once uh, the module will get created, the project is getting created, then uh, we can go into the project and we can be start uh, creating the screens. So now uh, we are in the designer mode and uh, here we can see that uh, main window, pop-up window and docked window are there. So using this, uh, we can create uh, one screen uh, into which we will be able to connect it with the virtual PLC and show the data over OPC UI. Okay. So uh, this is the basic screen which I have created. So uh, first, uh, in order to connect to the virtual PLC, uh, we need to uh, do the configuration into the uh, configuration mode. Okay. So now uh, let me show you here. Uh, I'm running the virtual PLC in the Docker uh, on the same edge device. So uh, let me go into the root mode and then I will be running the Docker PS command which will show all the containers which are running okay so uh, if you see uh, we have the courses control uh, virtual linux so which is hosted as a vplc1 and if you see in the courses uh, this is the same which is uh, running okay so this is uh, where from the courses i am connected also so uh, now the plc part is done so there i have exposed the data over opc ua so I, I have configured here as opc client in the ignition scada and uh, all the configurations for the opc ua are done so you can do uh, with authentication and also as anonymous so based on your choice and then uh, we have i we need to ex uh, get all the tags which uh, we need to configure here so for that, uh, when we open the OPC browser, we can go into the OPC uh, server of the PLC and then uh, we can be able to extract or configure the tags. So the tags wherever it is present. So from there, we can be able to import those tags into the uh, tag part. And then uh, we need to configure and uh, connect it to the, this, uh, all the modules, whatever uh, we have. So in the tank, in the meter. So basically the value we have to configure so uh, it will get uh, start communicating with the plc and showing the data here so uh, this will be the basic uh, configuration uh, through which uh, we can be able to uh, communicate and connect and then uh, everything is running on the linux environment so this this configuration uh, means we can be able to uh, run the scada plc uh, over the edge uh, computer uh, and uh, we can be able to communicate so it is uh, will be a kind of different configuration uh, rather than uh, running everything on the windows but uh, getting it into the linux environment so now uh, if you see uh, the data is coming so uh, i can also be able to control this so uh, by using a start stop command so i can be able to give the commands and based on that uh, it will go to the plc and perform the logic uh, so if I give start command, then the, uh, the level will start increasing. And if I give the stop command, then the level or the pressure uh, value uh, will be getting constant. So it will not increase or decrease. So this is a particular thing. So if I give the command here, so if you see the command has gone into the PLC. So right now it is a stop command. So uh, nothing is moving. All the values are constant. And now uh, I will change it to start command and then if you see the start command has been given and the value will start uh, getting changed so uh, this is uh, the basic uh, configuration uh, which we can be able to do and uh, we can be able to run using virtual plc ignition scada over the waco edge computer uh, using linux environment so yeah uh, that's all in this particular video and thanks for watching that's all for this video uh, see you in the next one